Good evening. Several weeks ago, a new house was being built in our neighborhood and there's a big expanse of dirt and they got that grass put in where they just come in and spray the whole thing. And within days, grass was growing. And now several weeks later, their lawn is perfect. And I've got to tell you, I've been a little jealous about their grass. If you've seen my grass, you'd understand. If I lived in a homeowners association neighborhood, they'd be writing me hate mail, <laughs> and threatening to kick me out of the neighborhood. My lawn's in such bad shape. And these folks, they've got a perfect lawn. So I'm a little jealous of their lawn. And so I guess I'm breaking one of the commandments. And I was driving home today and I noticed the man was out there with his little tank of poison spraying a weed. And there was something in me that thought, <laughs> sucker, the weeds found your yard too. But there was also something in me that was a little bit sad that this perfect lawn is also going the way that all lawns do, uh, that they get weeds. And it was interesting to me that I had both emotions, uh, both of delight and calling him a sucker and sadness that his season of perfection had ended. And then I started thinking about it some more. And again and again, I return to the wisdom of Ecclesiastes and recognize how deeply true it is. I'll read it to you. You're familiar with it. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. We could add a time for no weeds and a time for weeds. And I think too, this is absolutely consistent with our human experience. Today I got some good news, um, and at the same time a friend of mine I was on the phone with got some awful news. I heard of one person who's getting sick and another person who's healing. We know that every day people are dying from the pandemic, and I got a birth announcement in the mail the other day that my cousin had had a baby, and he and I share the same middle name, Arthur, named after my grandfather. And there's something in me filled with joy to know that there's a namesake in this world. Uh, he and I together sharing the memory of this grandfather who was born 111 years before he was. A time to be born and a time to die. And now in our country, uh, there's a time for peace in our government and a time for rancor. A time to hope, a time to fear. A time to be peaceful, a time to protest. A time to rejoice, a time to cry. We are part of this long human story that follows all the contours of this human life. And God is in it all, never absent never distressed the way we are. God is God, and in that God we trust. Let us pray. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You made the luminaries of the sky, the sun, moon, and stars. Glory be to you, O God of the night, for the whiteness of the moon and the infinite stretches of dark space. Let me be learning to love the night as I know and love the day. Let me be learning to trust its darkness and to seek its subtle blessing. Let me be learning the night's way of seeing that in all things I may trace the mystery of your presence. From Psalm 25 Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation.
from Psalm John 8. Jesus said, You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Let us pray. That you have placed a harmony of lights in the heavens, that night is followed by day, and the glowing of the moon by the glistening of the sun. Thanks be to you, O God. That you have placed a harmony of lights in my soul, that there is gentleness and firmness of strength, intuitive knowing and enlightened reasoning. Thanks be to you. Let me be so sure of your law of harmony in all things, that I seek it in my own depths and in the knowing it in my inner life, yearn for it in the torn relationships of my world, man and woman, black and white, sun and moon in a harmony of movement. I invite your prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. From the New Zealand Prayer Book Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let the fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The light heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. In the beginning, O God, you placed seeds in the womb of the earth. On the surface of the earth and in its skies and seas you made male and female of every species. And above the earth you called the two great lights into relationship. Renew me this night in the fruitful intermingling that you have woven into creation, that I may wake to the morning enlivened by love that I may wake to the morning enlivened by love. Amen. Good night, Kick Harbor.